Okay, happy to see you here on my channel, Higher Mathematics. Really interesting challenge. We have x to the power x equal to x square. So what is the correct answer? What is our x? Let's try to solve this. So our solution, let's go right here. So solution, let's try to think how can we solve this correctly. But before solving this, I want to say thank you for your support. It makes my channel alive. If you leave a like, write any comment, it helps me and it inspires me a lot. So thank you for your support. Okay, this is solution. So we have x to the power x equal to x square. Let's rewrite it. So x to the power x equal to x square. So this looks like not a hard question. We don't have like a huge, uh, huge power. So we don't have like a complicated expression, very easy and regular expression. But what is the correct answer? How can we find our answer x, x right here in a, in a power x right here? So how can we figure out with this, with this expression? Uh, I suggest you to divide both sides by x square. So we have like x to the power x divided by x square this side, left hand side, and equal to x square we divide right hand side. So both sides we divide by x square. Okay, this one and this one. Brilliant. Right now we need to know about a really great power rule. If we have a to the power x, I write this rule right here. So we have a to the power x divided by a to the power y. This is equal to a to the power x minus y. So saying in other words, if we bring something from our denominator to numerator, we need to put minus. So we have x to the x and x square. We have like x to the power x and minus 2. Okay, with this goes with the minus sign and we have x to the power x minus 2. So we have x to the power x minus 2, okay, uh, minus 2 equal to x square over x square equal to equal to 1. Brilliant, okay, really great for us. Right here we have really interesting expression and let's try to solve it, let's try to find our answer, how can we solve this correctly. So I will write this expression right here, so we have x to the power x minus 2 equal to equal to 1. Right now I suggest you to look at uh, natural log real quick, uh, to remember or to learn about natural log. Because if you apply natural log on both sides, so right here and right here, so we have natural log of x to the power x minus 2 equal to natural log 1. Okay, natural log 1. And uh, this power goes right here, this is the main log property, this x minus 2 goes back right here, so we have x to the power x minus 2, sorry, x minus 2 times natural log x equal to natural log 1 equal to 0, yeah? And right now, really interesting moment because we have a product which is equal to 0. If you know a little bit about math, you need to know that, uh, you should know that uh, we have a product equal to 0, then this equal to 0, so x minus 2 equal to 0, and natural log x equal to 0 natural log x equal to 0. From here, really obvious solution, x equal to 2. And from here, natural log x equal to 0, x equal to equal to 1. And really important moment, we have two roots, x equal to 2 and x equal to 1. And maybe um, a lot of you solve this by inspection and they say, okay, uh, x equal to 2 is a correct answer, 2 square. So we have like, right here we can easily check it. So we have 2 square equal to 2 square. Yeah. And uh, maybe for 95% of students, uh, x is x, x equal to 2 is obvious answer. They write it uh, without any problems, x equal to 2. And this is a final answer. But if you look closely, 1 is a correct answer as well. So we have like we have like 1 to the power 1 equal to 1 square, which is absolutely correct. So we have two, two answers. Our answer, our first answer, x first equal to 2, x first equal to 2, and x second equal to equal to 1, which is, which is really great. So we hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. This is my main goal to my channel, on my channel. And I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. If it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment. It helps me. It, it makes my channel alive. It helps me a lot. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. And I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures.